Hello and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We're on to episode 2, Starve for Help. Let's see what we're going to today. Hope you're all keeping well. Hope you enjoyed the first episode. bumped into her son Glenn so let's we'll see if I bump into any more legendary characters <clears throat> I know who you are You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> and I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You better watch your ass. You're on my shit list. Past. Well, at least you finally learned to get him in the head. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> Guess it's duck season. We went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Why don't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. <coughs> and they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? It's not so. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's no risk. Well, let's not go that far. Thinks I'm dangerous. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. 
The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, not Lucky shot. Flat. That'll bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Oh dear. <laughs> the hell are these guys? Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Ben, this is fucked up. We gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Right. Chill the fuck out. Not our problem, we'll try, uh... This isn't our problem, we should go! No, no, please! At least just look at the trap! Just look at it and maybe you can tell us how to get it off! I thought you are Please help me! ...guy there was special forces. Hurry, please, hurry! Oh, shit. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Well, I guess he's pretty much up shit creek where the battle. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never leave! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Is he... is he gonna make it? Please! Get me do something! Can I take a leg? Oh god! Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yep. Let's go, let's go. Third time's a charm. Maybe not. Fourth time. There we go. Passed out. He'll live. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. If Arshal can make it with one leg, so can you. Come on. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen him. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, yep. Uh. No! <sighs> well, they never think to get off their ass. This is when the ship.
Nanu, Nanu. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! Yes, dear. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We Let are not you. responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries. Um, no. Get the lever. You guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. Oh, but now that it's charge. running out, oh, I'm suddenly back in I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. Facts. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. We didn't say we were giving them food. Stepping up to make the hard decisions, my girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Dumbass. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Fine. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. All right. Women and children first. Some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Yep, sorry about that. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, uh, guess I'll come back to you. Uh, let me see. What's up, Doug? Hey, Doug. <coughs> ah. What's up, Lee? Because uh, like guy. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? 
I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Think Kata can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. The fuck does calculators help you do with that? Doug? You too, Lee. Leave it to Doug to rig up a warning system out of garbage. What's that for? Oh, uh, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. <laughs> Clever man. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Katja can save him. Uh... You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. I don't remember anybody asking you. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'll stick it right between your fucking eyes. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Oh, I'll give it to Come you. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah. There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. All these days, Larry. One of these fucking days. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Where did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Uh... What's up, Quackers? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <sighs> Not the brightest. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? Beef jerky, cracked cheese. There you go. Apple a day, keep a doctor away. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Doc? No, probably not. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. 
I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. I'll sort that out for you, honey. Don't worry. Let's see. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. You're a smart girl. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, we'll get her some crackers and cheese. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker. The band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs. This one time, at band camp? And everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Ahoy there, Captain. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Hmm? Fine. Where is that, Kenny? There he is. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Coos does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. That up. in the bar trap. Want something to eat? Oh shit, no. Back no, no, no. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. Can I go left here? Uh... 
uh, even if I had a metal fake cutter. El Cacha. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I did. I'm a little busy with your mess right now. <laughs> I need space, Lee. Um, I suppose I'll get some to we call him Mark. He was a bit hungry. Here, eat something. Mm, beef jerky. Thanks, Lee. Keep the last piece for yourself. No, oh, some special. of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. No, I want to give it to Katja. She won't talk. -a. Sturdy, but it's not going to hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Please don't share to me. I need space, Lee. Okay, sorry. Right, so who hey. do you want it? Here. I don't want anything from you. <sighs> well, fuck me. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Sorry, Doug. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Down strip. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? I got it's a knuckle sandwich for you. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. An asshole. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Uh... Let him go, Katja. But. He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Uh, shouldn't we. Be... Well, you what should we put him? Uh, he not gonna come back? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fucking here's gonna happen. Back up. Thanks, Doug. Get off me. Hey, chance, Mark. Push it off. I don't want to hit you. Thank you. Problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Down the street. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! 
You first. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you walk. Who are those people? I don't know. I'm sorry, we don't want to hurt your friends. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. No problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but... Uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hmm. Sounds like the hell top. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Oh, did you kiss my ass? Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? <sighs> Alright. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh... I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh... We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh... Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. 
Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food and... Don't give them too much we information. An extra help in, hand. in the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. Are. And you guys will keep Saviors? it off for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Talk about overkill. Uh, should we take the crossbow? Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Well, shit, that actually looks more like Herschel's farm from the TV show. Uh, I can't have the kids around the fence. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, they all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Good podcasting. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Dive right in, Doug. Sorry. <laughs> Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? She... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, <laughs> those roads can be dangerous. Guess you eat all no the food problem. too. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. 
This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? We do whatever we can to help. Let's make sure the place. Let's see. Yes, be cautious. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this definitely looks more like Herschel's farm. Alright, let's start the far end and work our way over. And Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Got a brick. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe this is all right next to it, Lee? Hmm. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Where the hell just take that? Runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Mm -hmm. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Hmm. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. They're storing gasoline all over the property. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Any problem? Uh, can't check the barn yet. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor end. 
defense is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right. Was Let's go check her bedrooms. They've got it there. Hopefully, we'll find out. Herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Hmm. Do you call them herbs or herbs? Sounds like a sound hitch. Used to have these on the front porch of my house growing up. Hope the noise doesn't attract any unwanted guests. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my Jesus. daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. Certainly got a lot of space. Our rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. Anything else? Nothing else I need in here. I do for you, sweetie. Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Business help is uh, How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Yeah, just curious. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Yeah. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. I'm not going to ask when dinner will be ready. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Never ask when dinner will be ready. <laughs> It'll be ready when it's ready. Alright, let's fix this sewing. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be dead. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just 
Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Nice job, Lee. It's a nice job indeed. Well, at least that's one way to end the video. Nice little swing a ding. So I'm going to leave this part here, folks. And we'll pick up with the rest of episode 2 in the next video. So if you've enjoyed this, then click the like button, comment and subscribe. And click the bell for notifications on more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, folks.